The optics of the human eye are quite advanced. But how does the eye actually detect the light? The light detection on the retina is a wonderful masterpiece of photochemistry and protein interaction. The molecule retinal plays a major role in the process of light detection in your eye. But since our body is not capable of making this molecule, we need another source for retinal. For example, carrots. What you see here spinning in front of your eyes is the G-protein coupled receptor rhodopsin. This receptor is present in the rods of the retina and responsible for the light detection in your eyes. If we add the electrostatic surface to this protein and zoom in a little bit, we find that there is a cavity located inside the protein. Inside this cavity, we find the molecule we just talked about, cis-retinol. After absorption of a photon, cis-retinol can isomerize to its transform via the rotation around one of its bonds. As you can see, this isomerization alters the three-dimensional structure of the retinol considerably, which also leads to changes in the protein's cavity. In fact, the whole protein changes its conformation, and it's this conformational change of the protein that leads to the detection of the photon absorption in the cell. The information about the photon absorption in the rhodopsin protein gets rapidly forwarded to the brain by several other proteins. It has been shown that only one absorbed photon is enough to create a response in the brain. So if you want to impress your friends next time, tell them about your single photon detector.